In today's video, we will be looking into Kurumi Tokusaki's Raziel form. Of course, quick warning that there will be spoilers, just a heads up. And this video is a Patreon exclusive for quarter one of 2021 and a thank you for supporting me. If you are watching this in quarter two onwards, why not check out my Patreon page to see what exclusive videos are available now. So with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. The best place to start with this one is to understand what Raziel is. Raziel is an angel who belonged to Nia Honjo, who was the ninth spirit to appear in the Data Live series. Nia made her debut in Volume 12, though she was mentioned in Volume 7. Nia inverted after she was forced to remember the pain and suffering she went through in suppressed memories about the DEM's torture of her. Shido started to reawaken Nia's consciousness, but it was too late as her Clifford Crystal, which is the name of a Sephiroth, a crystal once inverted was extracted from her and given to Westcott before she could turn back to normal. So how does Kurumi come into this? Well, she managed to extract the Califa crystal from Westcott and in doing so bonded with it, turning it back into a Sephira crystal. As a result of this, Kurumi gained a new astral dress that has Nia's dress overlapping with her own. And I, I think this looks nice. Very nice. Biased, obviously, but you know, come on, you guys know me. Now, not just a new dress, but Kurumi also gained the ability to use Raziel herself. Raziel comes in the form of a book that gives its user information about, you know, literally everything that has happened in the world, kind of like a super-powered Google or something. To use it, she has to consciously think and focus on the subject or information she is looking into. However, the book cannot reveal a person's inner thoughts, nor can it reveal any information on events yet to occur. The other downside is that the book can only tell the user facts, not what to do in situations where they are unsure of themselves. It does come with the ability Future Description, in which everything written in Raziel is fact, meaning whatever is written in the book will become reality. However, it takes time for this to occur. Also, the ability to change the future is not absolute. So what does this power mean for Kurumi? Well, knowledge is always a great weapon, and the ability to have an effect on the future that falls in your favor, well, yeah awesome. But Kurumi's goal or objective lies within the past. However, she is currently harvesting as much time as she can in order to use her 12th bullet so that she can travel back in time. So the book's ability to track certain targets could be useful, particularly Shido, as he has a lot of spiritual power within him that Kurumi wants for herself. What Kurumi would use this angel for is information on the first spirit, however. That is all that she's interested in. Information on the spirit, its appearance, what time it's going to appear, where it's going to appear, you know, and most importantly, Importantly, how to kill it. Anyway, interestingly, to finish this one off, Nia was actually the first spirit to have her Clifford crystal revealed, but also the first one to have her crystal taken away from her, so it's pretty bad luck. <laughs> but thanks for watching my video about Kurumi Tokusaki's Raziel form. Let me know in the comments what else you would like to see next quarter. As always, a huge shout out to you for supporting me on Patreon. You are a huge part in my journey, and I couldn't have done this without your support. If you are watching this after quarter one, then, you know, why not check out my Patreon and join our awesome community? As always, don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Links are in the description. And subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs. Peace.